So in this problem, we are told that the area of a triangular church window is 90 square meters and that the base of the window is 15 meters. And we're asked to find the window's height. So what I'd like to do first is any time you have a geometric problem, the first thing we want to do is to draw the picture. So we know we have a triangle. We're not sure what that triangle looks like, but we know that it is a triangle. So we draw a triangle. We're given that the base equals 15 meters. We don't know what the height is. So that's what we're looking for. And we're given that the area equals 90 square meters. And we're asked what is the height. So we're looking for the height. So remember that area of a triangle equals 1 half times the base times the height. And if we solve this for the height, we get 2a over b equals the height. So now we just substitute into uh, our formula. Area equals 1 half base times height. Solved for height, we get 2 times the area divided by the base. So h, the height, equals 2 times, what's our area? 90 square meters divided by the base, which we know is 15 meters. So that equals 180 divided by 15, which equals 12 meters. So to check, we could simply plug back into our original formula, area equals 1 half base times height, and make sure that it does indeed equal 90 square meters. So we want to know, does 90 equal 1 half times 15 times 12? Does 90 equal, we'll go ahead and do the 12 times 1 half since those are even, that becomes 6. So does this equal 15 times 6? And 90 does indeed equal 90, so that checks. So the height is 12 meters. And note that we could have done this simply by substituting into uh, the formula first and then solving for the height. So let's do it that way just so you can see. 90 equals 1 half times 15 times the height. So 90 equals 15 halves times the height. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal, 2 fifteenths. And 90 times 2 is 180 divided by 15 is indeed 12. And the 2 fifteenths and the 15 halves cancel to leave 1. So that verifies that our height is 12 meters.